is Mishka and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Today on my channel, I will be doing a few turban head wrap styles and I've really come to love turban looks. I really wasn't really a turban kind of girl, but of late, I feel like, especially because it's winter and you have those really bad hair days, I feel like I can now, you know, rock a turban and I'm comfortable with rocking a turban. Paired with a pair of nice hoops or some nice studs as well. I feel like it just it looks so pretty and it also looks very elegant. So if you would like to know how I achieved this look and a few other looks, please continue watching. So first we are going to take our brush and basically just brush our hair backwards and then we are going to plait it and I just did like a normal braid just straight back and we're doing this because we are going to pin up our hair so that it is just secured back and not in the way. Once our hair is pinned back, we are going to take our first scarf. I bought this beautiful leopard print scarf from one of my friends. We are going to fold the scarf in half and then place it on our head. Once you've positioned the scarf to what you desire, you will then pull it back and then tie it in one knot. I like my turban to be very tight, but you can really do whatever you're most comfortable with. Because we folded our scarf in half when placing it on our head, we are now going to open it and then create gathers so that we can beautifully place it on our head. I'm now pulling the scarf over, sort of doing it at an angle, and then I'm just going to wrap it all the way around. And then take it under the remaining piece and just finding sort of a slot to just tuck it in. Once that's tucked in, you will now take the other side and just do exactly the same thing. Just make sure that your scarf is laid flat because I find that it just looks more appealing and more neat when you lay your scarf flat and there's no bumps. Then you can just grab a pair of your favorite earrings and put them on and you're good to go. Now for the second look, I'm just folding the scarf a little bit just to create a bit of a layer and then I'm just going to make sure that both sides are even in terms of length and then I'm going to again tie it at the back and like I said before, I do prefer my scarf to be a bit tight. Once that's done, I'm again opening the scarf and creating pretty gathers so that it covers perfectly. And then I'm just sort of going to let that piece hang over there um, just to put it to the side. And I'm going to repeat that step on the other side. Once I've pulled my scarf over and I'm happy with the gathers I've created, I'm going to almost, uh, I'm going to almost now 
switch sides I'm just almost creating a knot but not really a knot but you can see as I'm demonstrating in the video I like to pull it tight just to make sure that it stays secure and it doesn't slide back and then again I'm going to pull the scarf back creating flat gathers so that there's no bumps and then I'm going to again just find a little slot to just tuck it in I'm then just repeating that step on the opposite side And that is it for the second look. I must say, this is really one of my favorite turban looks. And now for the third look, again, I'm just folding the scarf a little bit just to create a bit of a layer and then placing it on my head and ensuring that both sides are equal. I am just securing the scarf and sort of taking the left side to the right and the right side to the left, if that makes any sense. Once that's secure, I'm going to open my scarf again and just make sure that everything looks neat. I'm then taking both sides up to the front of my head and tying a knot. Once I've tied the knot, I'm just making sure that it's tight and also ensuring that the knot is neat because it is in front of my head and it will be in the eye. I'm then going to take one side and pull it to the back, creating gathers again, just ensuring that it looks neat and pulling it right around. And when I get to the front, I'm just creating a twist so that it looks very neat and then finding a slot to tuck it in. I will then just be repeating the same step on the opposite side. It's very important to ensure that your scarf is neat, that there is no bumps and the gathers look very appealing. I find that this makes the scarf look more elegant. Now for our last look, I am going to repeat the steps, placing the scarf on my head and tying a knot in front. Always make sure that your knot is tied very neatly, that way it just looks more appealing. I'm now taking the piece that is facing forward when creating my knot and just pulling it to the side. And the piece that was hanging towards the back, I'm now going to pull forward and just ensure that it looks very neat and pull it to the opposite side of the knot. Again, it is very important that you make sure that your gathers are neat because this just looks more pretty. Find a slot and just tuck it in. I think tucking it in is the easiest and this way you don't need any pins. Just make sure that you're not in front 
looks very neat. And that is it for that look. Very simple. This is one of my favorite turban looks. I'm really trying to incorporate turbans into my fashion these days. Just because when you have a bad hair day, it's just so much more easier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed watching me create all these different turban head wrap styles and please if you do recreate these looks please do send them to me on Instagram or tag me in your pictures because I would really really love to see how you guys recreate any of these turban looks. I really had fun creating this video and I'm really having fun wearing turbans lately. If you are a turban girl or you too like wearing turbans like this video, comment down below any suggestions on different kind of turban looks. I really, really would love to see them. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And as usual, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!